Hey guys, I'm Stratus. We are playing Ark Survival Vault on the island. Alright, so today's task, we are going to get the uh, T-Rex and we're going to get some Dire Wolves. So as you can see here, I got some construction going on here. I have, you know, We've got the base expanded. I got the uh, defenses up there, which are actually gone now. Um, I forgot to put fertilizer into them and they've been killing things out the wazoo since we've been here. Um, anyways, you can see my uh, little collection of uh, creatures is growing here a bit. Uh, I've got a Megalosaurus for the thatch. Not sure if I covered that last time. I uh, did get a new Allosaurus. He kind of attacked me uh, when I was building this little thing over there. Uh, I got a Dire Wolf. Ooh, an egg. And then, of course, we've got the Argies, which have been great now since I got the buff. Uh, the TLC uh, upgrade. They look, to me, fantastic. Like They look like an actual bird now. Um, I mean, they kind of look like a bird, but they look a whole lot better now. Even on my little kind of low resolution kind of stuff here. Backspace there. Yeah. And one second. Forgot something. Okay. There we go. Um, but yeah, so I've been upgrading the base a little bit more here. I was going to expand this, make this a bigger platform to build on. Because um, I got the two beds. And oh, I got to fill that back in. But, anyways. This is going to be my new kind of uh, plan for a taming pit. Uh, I'll use an RG, bait a T-Rex uh, through an open door in there. Once I get them in there, I'll fly back around and close the gate on them. And then uh, the goal is to safely shoot them from up here. And I'm pretty sure they can't get me. Um, this is kind of a slope here. Let me double check. Um, oh, crap. I may need to fix this real quick because if I can get up there, he can get up there. That's not a good idea. I'm going to have to build this either out farther that way and down or build this higher. Okay, put the brakes on this. I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I fixed that. Um, the wall is all the way down. It extended it out one ceiling. Um, it still looks a little kind of janky over here. Um, and what I mean is that he can kind of hopefully he won't really climb up on this side it's still technically let's see one two i think that's three high and he should be able to climb that that one right there is too high but i don't think he'll be able to get up there but uh, i think we're good to go so i'm going to go ahead and let's get on this rg here we're going to use this rg here oh crap i'm dehydrated and go figure uh fog starts to roll in like just as i completed this and i was like oh you know what now let's go ahead and uh Let's cut back over and let's get this thing going here. But anyways, I got us hydrated. I've got my rifle fixed. Um, I've got 113 darts for it. So now the goal is, let's see if we can kind of open this sucker up. I forgot about that because we need this thing opened up in the first place. All right, we got it open. And then apparently I am just like super hot right now. So let's go ahead and Take off some of this fur stuff, because we shouldn't necessarily need it for right now. Alright, so we're cooled down. Now, there was a T-Rex up here roaming earlier, but there was also a pack of sabers. And I'm not sure if they attack or not. I know they were doing work on, I guess, the way the aggro stuff is. But uh, we're going to kind of walk around, or fly around here, and uh, see if we can find a T-Rex. Ah, uh, there's more Allosaurus, I believe, which is not what we wanted. We want to get a T-Rex, um, hopefully a few of them. So I'm uh, going to continue around and uh, we'll see if we can find any. Hey guys, we're back and this is the first T-Rex I found. It's a male, level 10, and unfortunately he keeps picking fights with everything under the sun. Right now he's going after these Stegos. Um, he was going after, I forget what the other ones are called, but they're like the tinier Stegos. So i got to see if I can get his attention. Um, Let's see if we can get him to stop attacking crap. But let's see. I guess we can help by weakening these things. Because I don't want them to be hurt. Alright, let's see if I get his attention. Come on. He 
he's gonna pick a fight with a trike now too. <laughs> Alright guys, we're back and I've got the T-Rex here uh, kind of trapped in, uh, we'll call it Site B. Uh, this area I built actually before I built the one over next to the little base. Uh, and I was gonna use this and it didn't really pan out because when I was first looking for T-Rex, gosh dang it, something just attacked me, it did. Let me get rid of this guy. Uh, I just had to lure away a bunch of Alpha Raptors apparently that were in the area. Now I'm getting attacked by a freaking, this little freaking annoyance. It's annoying is that, that thing's got a really tight turn radius, so I gotta make these big swoops. Ugh, all right, come on. There we go, he's down. All right, so we'll park through here. I didn't really put walls around it. I just did these kind of double pillar things, big enough to stop the T-Rexes and something bigger, but hopefully it shouldn't stop any, uh, do too much damage. And I'll leave you as passive for right now. There you are, holy crap. Let's keep reloading. You're level 10, so you shouldn't take that long to go down. Hopefully those Alpha Raptors don't come. Oh, and he's down already, all right. That's nice and quick. Let's go kill that other thing before it wakes up here. Yeah, he's dead. All right, now I should have some prime meat on me. Let's double check. that put away. Oops, wrong button. Ba -ba -da -ba -da, if I can hit the right button. Alright, let's see. Get rid of the Ingrams. Alright, yeah, we got some prime meat on us. Then we'll put some, grab some of this regular stuff. Alright, that should be enough. Let's go ahead and get this on here. Alright, hopefully, let's see how much is that. Spell was in 10 minutes. Alright, should get plenty of time here. Took pours, plenty of high rate. All I need them is eat once. So it's a level 10, not too high, but uh, it would definitely be good for uh, an egg farm. Just got to get some more females to go along with them. Although it took me uh, quite some time to get this one found, but uh, I don't really have any ones. You know what I should probably check is Carnivore Island. They might have some more right now. And the other thing I just realized when I was flying around out here is these behemoth gates make awesome perches. Like I might start just Yep, hey, look at that, he's tamed. Um, I do have the taming rate increased, but anyways, um, they make great perches. Like, I'm thinking about just building some of these things and then dropping them in, like, areas that I would constantly visit. That way I can just, you know, I can just drop down on one of these things and rest up and not have to worry about getting attacked by uh, alpha raptors or anything else in the area. Especially since the new raptors can uh, knock you off your mounts, which is definitely something we want to avoid. Um, I don't know if, I don't think I have a T-Rex saddle. So let's go ahead and open this up. And let's see if we can get you back to base. You have to follow me though. Um, are you stuck there, Rex? Let me open this side. There we go. It's a good boy, Rex. All right, come on, let's get you back to base without incident, hopefully. Level 14, so again, yeah, he's not that high, but hey, it's a start, right? Um, all right, well, my hope was to get more of these guys, more of a T-Rexes, but it, you know, it could, took me almost, you know, 30 minutes to an hour just to find the one. Hopefully those after raptors will do some work and they'll get rid of a lot of these other, uh, animals in the area so maybe we can get some more t-rexes to spawn in but until then i think the next thing is to go and oops, stop good boy rex is this the upgraded model version too eh, it looks like it okay um do i have a saddle for you let's see here uh rex saddled haven't learned it but i should be able to make it Let's go over here real quick. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. 
probably he'll survive that on. Uh, Rex Saddle. Oh, yeah, we got tons. Let's go ahead and get that crafted up and see what they actually did for the new TLC update. I am kind of curious about that. Um, and there was something else I wanted to check, um, but we'll find that out later. Um, oh yeah, what their eggs are useful for, and I don't remember offhand. Uh, I want to I want to guess Quetzal, but uh, I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't quote me. Um, let's go ahead and just pump it on your health. And of course, it's been a long time since I've had a T-Rex. He's leveled up here a bit, I just put one into health. We'll go ahead and put these other ones into health here. Get this uh, Rex's health up. And uh, of course, we've got the passive heal on from our Deidron Porky. We'll just call him Porky. Um, but yeah, so right click, we got that famous roar, and then of course left click is the attack, and then, does he have a C ability? No. Okay. Anyways, uh, stats, uh, now up to 2100 for health, stamina, just under 500. Uh, let's see, food, 39, whatever, weight, 500, uh, melee, 137, not that bad. Uh, but anyways, now that we've got the T-Rex, we've got a saddle for it. I think we'll go ahead and leave, put you on options. Don't want to neuter you. Um, export dino. No, back. Um, what did I want? I wanted to behavior. Here we go. Attack target? No. Neutral. Alright. So he's on neutral now. Now our next goal is to... See if we can find a wolf that's just a decent high level. This one was actually pretty high. Um, where's he at? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Or she, I think, actually, if, it, if it memory serves me. No, oh, it's a boy. Never mind. Uh, it was pretty high up there. You got a lot of stuff on you. Uh, melee damage. Uh, these guys also got... Oop, get out of there. There we go. They also got a TLC update, so they're looking a little neater. Um, of course, you don't need a saddle to ride them, which is kind of nice, right out of the box here. But, um, no, there should be a pack ability. So this one was pretty high. It was over 100. That's kind of what I want to look at for another wolf. So let me go out here. Um, we'll fly over here to the snow biome. Oops, before I forget, let's get our winter gear back on so we don't freeze. All right. And uh, let's go hunting. Hey guys, just a quick break there. I know I was going after dire wolves, but I couldn't resist. Oh, sorry. Um, as soon as I got over to the uh, snow area right there, lo and behold, there was a level 80 female T-Rex just sitting over there eating some deer and stuff like that. So I thought, what the heck, lured it back over here, got it inside, and knocked it out. Obviously, there are a few flaws with this design. Um, one... The T-Rex did come up here and try to break through. Uh, it just sat up here kind of chomping out the wall. It didn't really come after me. I knew it, like that was the shortest path, so I tried to get up there. And then on its running, it kind of gets stuck on the wall out here. Um, or tried to get away, came over this way, and then got stuck on the wall. And, uh, well, as you can see, it climbed up here. And it made it almost a little bit difficult for me to get to. I was able to land right on this little edge. Oh, of course, I can't do it again. Um, land on this little edge and was able to like eject off just right on this little piece and uh, get the taming meat into it. As you can see though, it does stick out and I'm not sure if anything else can kill it from right there or not. Luckily there is nothing over here right now. I'm thinking maybe I should kind of wall this off a little bit more. Create like a small perimeter or something. I don't know. Uh, because it definitely concerns me that, he, that she sticks out that far. Uh, past the wall there But all in all this taming wall this giant pit did what it's supposed to do and it kept the t-rex in and uh, Yeah, so once this guy uh, or lady uh, Wakes up. I'll move her up there with the other ones and then uh, I will actually officially go out and find direwolves. So All right guys, um on the hunt for more direwolves all right, guys, so I found a pack here. They've been kind of eating some stuff here. There's a 110 there, level 50, 40. Uh, there should be another one there somewhere, right? 30, 15, 50, and 40. So I want that female 110, the tan one. 
Uh, I thought about going in here and just kind of weeding off the little ones, but uh, let's see if we can just pick this bigger one off. There we go, got it. So I'm going to take this over to the Tatum Pit and drop it in. Crap, it's hitting me. How much damage is this thing doing? Why is this doing so much damage? Is it because of the angle? There we go, so if I fly straight or a little bit down, it doesn't seem like it hits me, but if I fly up, it seems like it has a good angle at me, so it starts biting. So we don't want it to die, and we're running low on stamina, so we'll go ahead and drop this sucker in. Alright, so uh, you heal, you stay, <clears throat> and then we'll go ahead and shoot this 110 female, so I'm where to go, there it is. So we're back. So we got this uh, 110 uh, female wolf, dire wolf, whatever, tamed up to 164. Um, let's go ahead and change your behavior here to neutral. Um, but anyways, this one, uh, doing, you know, it was fairly easy that we had it in here. But um, being the fact that this is a huge taming pit, uh, didn't really work with the smaller dire wolf. Now it worked fine with the T-Rex because it's a large target. But unfortunately, since the dire wolf is so tiny, you uh, saw issues where I had to get on the RG uh, and try to lure it closer to where I was shooting it from. And then, of course, it tried to run away. So my solution to that is I am going to build like a little, I want to build like a nook. Somewhere like on this side wall here to where I can just shoot out, I guess. Um, I'll, you know, maybe make it two or three out. And then I'll go up against that wall there, and then I'll put I'll use door frames for like the first maybe two levels, and then I'll use walls all the way up, and just create this little notch in the corner here where I can drop these dire wolves in, or anything else that I can pick up with an RG and want to you know tame, I can drop it in there so it can't get out, and I don't have to shoot across from all the way up there in this whole exhibit. Exhibit. Um, but anyways, or better yet, would it be easier to have it over there? No, we're gonna do it over here. Just because I want to fill some of this corner off. Um, I don't know why, I just don't really like it. Um, so I'm going to do that, or I could do this corner. This corner might be easier since it's a ditch. Nah, I'm going to do this one. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's get this built.
have it. So I did make a little bit of a modification to it here. Um, I lowered the door height. Um, you see I got my wolf in here that's uh, as a kind of a test example. Um, set the follow and it's not able to make it through the doors. So that should be good for us. Um, but on this side, I did go ahead and just add the uh, dinosaur gate here, the smaller one, to make it easy to get in and out uh, for the uh, taming um, creature. Because if I was to use the Argentavis, you got to kind of do this weird kind of swoop, and it's just too narrow for the Argentavis. So this way, it should work perfectly fine. And actually, while we do this, I'm going to go ahead and make this one more higher because it does concern me a little bit. Um, and I figured, found this out was that, so, oops, so you can kind of see there, it snapped to a different piece there. Um, apparently with the S plus, I didn't realize you can actually have walls snap to the top of the gate, which is actually kind of cool, but because the gate actually snapped, um, a little bit lower or I guess elevated with the ground, but, uh, to the fencing area, it's about halfway through the. I don't know if that is normal or what, but um, so you can kind of see right there. Um, now, if I I already have, I think I have one in there already um, to fill in the gap because I made fences go all the way up to the side here, and then I went over, and then that's when I noticed that this thing will actually snap to the gate. So I put one in there um, to fill in the gaps, and then this side accidentally, we can see, I go back and try and fix it, but this one actually, if I want to put the wall up, it snapped to the piece just below. Um, or just the, the wall piece just above it so you don't have that kind of overlap layer but it doesn't really look that bad so I'm gonna leave it the way it is let's get this last layer up here and I almost thought about putting a ceiling on it but I was like that defeats the whole purpose of flying over and dropping something in and honestly yeah it's perfectly fine this looks good um, maybe I could make it a little bit fancier and put a you don't need to follow me anymore. Maybe put some railing on the top of it. But this does this uh, serves our purpose here. Um, I could also, you know, to make it a little fancier, I could put like the pillars going up or something like that. But for right now, this is all really what we need. So uh, we've got the one dire wolf. Uh, I'm thinking now that we got this better, um, I'm gonna go out and grab another dire wolf, and uh, yeah, we'll get this thing. A, we'll give this thing a proper test run. Alright guys, um, grab this one and uh, we'll be back. got uh, I got enough that I think I'm gonna good and we're gonna go ahead and test this out we're gonna go ahead and use the wolf pack um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna write out this guy right here he's our male he's uh, over level 200 the rest of these I all tamed up uh, or captured at, at well, actually scratch that uh, let's see here which one's the lowest one 31 I think he was only or she was only like level 85 when I got it um, but actually does it tell us in here show ancestors no, uh, it just, um, anyways, so 57, 157, 131, 151, 174, and then, of course, our 223. So let's go ahead and hit backspace on this again. Now, I've uh, got them all to set to follow me. Let's go ahead and whistle neutral, because I did have them on passive. And uh, let's take these guys out and see how they do. Um... Just want to see them kill some stuff. There's a cardo out here. There was uh, one of those things that makes them run away in fear, but I didn't want to try that on a first time. 
And how we're already missing no are we? Yeah, there we are. Go oh, Wolfpack. Alright, so that saber didn't stand a chance. How about if we go after this guy right here? Oops, if I even remember the commands here. Um a whistle uh attack this target. Okay. Well that didn't uh wasn't too where'd that raptor go? There we go. Come here, Raptor. One, two, three, four. Alright, we got you all. Oh, it's an Alpha Raptor. Oh crap. Where the were you at? Come on, get him, guys. Get him, get him. Oh yeah, level 45 Alpha Raptor. Creamed it. All right, let's go kill some more stuff. Time for some killing. guys i hope you enjoyed the video that is it we uh used the wolf pack we ran around destroyed a whole bunch of stuff um and we got that little wolf pack bonus plus the ability to identify uh the health of the creatures that we're attacking with that little health plus sign there and uh yeah everything's going well we've also got the uh, the few t-rexes uh i hope to find some more that are a higher level so that we can start a uh, a breeding farm with them and hopefully go after a boss soon but we got the wolf pack we always try going after one of the lower level bosses with the wolf pack here um, I'll probably start mating the two highest ones that we got here, the 200, the over 200 male, and then uh, after that last fight we had with the Alpha Raptor, the other one is up to 199. So I think those are two good, decent candidates for right now until we can find some more higher level ones. Hopefully we'll find a level 150 wolf somewhere that we could use. Same thing goes with the T Rexes, but anyways, guys. Um, oh yeah, I almost forgot. So if you uh, if you're not aware, uh, Pixark comes out uh let's see um well when this video comes out it'll come out today so um the day of this video release is the game pixar is coming out it's a cross between arc and minecraft at least that's what i look, take of it uh, some people think it's a cross between trove uh, but anyways it looks interesting enough that i'm going to go ahead and try it out when it comes out and i'll probably make a video on that when that comes out so uh keep an eye out for that um and uh thanks for watching guys